tell me that 15 was going to get out to the next one. Spirit Talker, today's spoken thought is three questions. If you ask these three questions, it'll let you know when you're dealing with a meal, what are you talking to in that meal? Are you talking to a man or are, are you talking to a gentleman? And the question is, who do you want to talk to and who do you want to be? Do you want to be a woman with that person or do you want to be a lady with that person? So choose your words wisely to find out is he a man or is he a gentleman? And the first question would be, if I was to meet, introduce you to my father, how should you approach him? Like a man or like a gentleman? Let him answer that question. My answer would be a gentleman. If I was to introduce you to my mother, how should you approach her? Like a man or like a gentleman? Let them answer that question. It should be a gentleman. And if I invited you to my house, how should you come in my home? Like a man or like the gentleman? To me, it should be a gentleman. And that's what you should run inside your home. A man or woman could go to a house, but what goes inside a home is a lady and a gentleman. So if you're not gonna let no man into your home, if you're not going to introduce no man to your father, if you're not going to introduce a man to your mother, the real question comes, why are you looking for a man? Why are you worried about what a man does? And who cares? Ask and look for a gentleman. Isn't that how you want to be treated? Don't you want your mentalness and your emotionness to be considered? Only a gentleman. And the gentleness of a gentleman can address that mentalness and that emotionness, his gentleness, honestly. So again, if he wants to stick to a man and argue the contents of a man over a gentleman, do you really want to waste your time with him? Seriously, three questions will save you so much agony and pain. And then really find out the definition of a gentleman. My opinion, a gentleman honors his oath, not to you, but to God, he will parent any child of God. He will provide for a lady and he will protect both. He should honor that oath. Don't you agree? Especially when you're doing labor, not for man. The labor you do is great for God. That's the greatest you can do it for. If a man want to put himself above God, do you even want to be dealing with that? And most men think they are. They think they have a right to tell you if you should or should not have a child. When it comes to conception, that is between you and God. 40 weeks from that moment in time, you'll turn a man into a father. That's the only time he has something to say about it. That's the only time. And then what he needs to say, is he gonna parent or not parent? Do you need to go to child support or not go to child support? Because guess what? God ain't down here right now to make him pay child support. So society, they have to make him do that part. And it's okay. He gave you a seed. He got to be responsible for that seed that he sold. But anyway, three questions will save you so much agony. Are you going to act like a man with my father or a gentleman? Are you going to act like a man with my mother or a gentleman? And how you can come inside my home like a man or a gentleman? And if he can answer them questions and he asks them correctly, then intrigue a conversation and see if he can sustain being that gentleman. And if he cannot sustain that, be careful. That's the wolf in sheep's clothing. Well, that's what society says. Guess what God calls it? That is the devil in sheep's clothing. Have a blessed day.